In the last few hours, the Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration wrapped up in Blount County. And Phyllis Nichols from the Knoxville Area Urban League gave the keynote address, and she joins us here live tonight in our studios. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Let's just first start off. What was your message today during your speech? Well, there were two points that I wanted to emphasize. That, yes, Dr. with talking about Dr. King, we have made some significant progress in the work of uh, civil rights, but we have some significant progress that we need to uh, need to continue in the area of jobs, education, and also in in housing. So we talked about that, but we don't always want to present uh, uh, things in terms that are so huge that the average citizen doesn't understand how they can contribute. And so our challenge was that people can contribute, number one, by continuing to vote. Vo we, we are at a low place with voter apathy and that every election is important, that everyone needs to understand that people in the civil rights movement went through a lot for us to have the right to vote. So every election for every office is important. We need to vote. And number two, we need to volunteer. Uh, part of what Dr. King's message was was one of a life of service and we don't need to be famous in our service we need to just have the heart to serve and so every individual should find a place within their community to find a place where they fit and to give back to others two very important messages hopefully everyone that was listening really absorbed that two wonderful messages there you know a lot of people may not realize East Tennessee has um, a lot of connections and is home to a lot of people who really played a key role in the civil rights movement I imagine that was a topic of discussion today as well oh absolutely absolutely and in Blount County they uh, honored uh, individuals who have done some significant things and East Tennessee does have a rich history we always uh, think of the Highlands Center where Dr. King and many of the leaders of the civil rights movement came to the Highlander Center to learn the strategy of the nonviolent movement and, and those kinds of things on how to do grassroots and community organizing. Yeah, real quickly, you mentioned you know, the nonviolent movements. Uh, how important is it for this generation and in the state of affairs right now in our country to kind of get that message out again about the nonviolent movement of Dr. King? Well, I think first Dr. King says that injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere and so we need to understand that the injustices that are happening in America uh, impact us and then also that you can't fight hate with hate you can only fight hate with love mm -hmm. and so we can only uh, uh, you know respond to those things with a nonviolent response Phyllis thank you so much for your perspective it's been wonderful talking to you today. thanks for having me